Uh, well, what's going on, everybody? Um, we have a little Q&A for Mr. Tex Andrews. Apparently, you guys want to ask him some questions. So, um, here we are. Um, of course, here we got the host, the, the best, the man of the hour, Mr. Tex Andrews himself. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Could be better. Probably would be better if I wasn't here, but I'm here nonetheless. Okay. So, uh, you ready to read some, uh, answer some questions from the fans? Let's get to it. All right, first question. So we have a question here from Majority. Scariest wild animal you've ever had to wrestle with? Mm, I did have to fight an otter once. It was extorting the town for money by threatening to build a dam. So we chased it down and it came to blows. Almost beat it too. Of course, it, of course you did. The completionist asks, how does Tex Andrews charm the ladies or the guys if he swings that way? Tex likes the ladies. Uh, and he charms them the same way everyone else does. A firm head nod, tip of the cap, and a white hood to hide my leprosy. Classic Games Canada asks, what's your thoughts on sister slash cousin love? A perfect date? or a chance of a cleft palate mutant baby too much of a risk. Well, first I wanna say there's nothing wrong with sister cousin love. That's scientifically proven. And for the record, I have two mutant cousins. One's a senator and the other is a two-time three-legged race champion. So we have a question here from BioPhoenix. Mm -hmm. What is something that triggers you the most? Uh, well, women are treated unfairly and why it doesn't happen more often. Leopold Brother Stotch asks, is there a special lady in Texas life? If so, what is a hot date night for Tex and the lucky lady? Mm, no special lady at the moment. But if there was, we would be enjoying a nice hot bubble bath on account of the nuclear radiation. Yep, just waiting for it. Uh, another question from Leopold Brother Stotch is, what is Tex going to do with the money he got from those boys at the itch for playing Chrono Trigger? Hmm. I found a good mutual fund, but I'm splitting part of it into some more reliable CDs so I can capitalize on short-term and long-term gain. Wow, that's actually financially responsible of you, man. That's Probably some monkey porn, too. Yep. Yep, there it is. The Farmatron asks, what video game do you want to play next, Tex? Do you have any kids? If so, what venue or store were they named after? And what was your opinion of video games when you first started playing Chrono Trigger compared to now? That's a real humdinger of a question. A couple questions in there, really, but I'll answer all of them. Um, first one, next game I want to play is that little game called Laugh. It's the only game where I can have a woman in my car and not be running from the police. Uh, I don't have kids, but if I did, they would be named Morton after the local mortuary. That's where I got my first hand job. After playing Chrono Trigger, it's clear to me that there is more to video games than just a high score and clicking random buttons. There's a certain investment that I wasn't expecting, and it has my respect. Tex, it was, a, it was great having you on the show. It was great playing games with you, more so for Eric than me, but, you know, it's all good. Uh, if we ever have any other games we'd like you to play, we'll make sure to have you on. Okay. And uh, 